hello everyone welcome back to the channel so in today's video we would be going through all the new features and improvements of gdevelop 5 beta 104 which is presently the latest version of gdevelop <laughs> Okay, so before we begin, consider liking this video and subscribing if you haven't. Okay, so let's head into our Chrome browser and I'll be going directly to the GDevelop repository to get all the new features and improvements. So right here in the releases tab, we can see Beta 5 or Beta 1 or 4 was released four days ago. Sorry about that. And I'll just check this out. Okay, so here you can basically see all the new features and improvements and we will be going through this one um, after the order. So just to make sure we go through every single new feature and... So for the new features we have the Add Tau Map. An object display tau based map using tau. So tau is an editor and you can basically get this from map editor.org that's all you'd be using you need to save this as you need to create your map you would create your map in tau save this as a json and import this to gdevelop using this new gdevelop feature so let's take a look at the add tau map and um okay so if we're going to gdevelop sorry about that okay we're going to gdevelop and create a new project Okay, so go with an empty game. Right here, let's add a new scene and new scene. Okay, so here we have the new object. I'll just add that and... Okay, so it's, into, it's an experimental object, so you'll find this and right here. So the tower map, this is the object, once you click on this, these are the um, properties of the object. You get the animation FPS, the animation speed scale, the display mode, the layer index to display. Sorry about this. And okay, so Atlas image, you get the um, tau map JSON file and also the tau set JSON file. So these are the properties which the tau map object comes with. So I'm just switch back to Chrome and Okay, so here it leaves a link to download it, which I said the map um, editor.org. You can download that from here. And um, rotated tiles are supported, and two new examples using tau maps. So I previewed this in the sneak peek, but we'll take a look again. And um, file, create a new project, examples, and tau. Okay, so here we have. Oh, where is it? <laughs> Sorry about that, tau map. Okay, so these are the two new examples, which are the platform with tau map and the tau maps made with the tau editor. Okay, so the first example, and this is basically a platform game and made using the um, tau map. And okay, let's preview this. Basically, here we go. This is it. And so this map was made using the tau. It was imported into it saved as json and imported into gdevelop 5 to display a map so for the next example and create a new project examples and um the tau map you will go tau maps made with tau editor it's basically showing us different examples of tau maps made with the tau editor Add support for isometry in the top down movements behavior. So let's um, take a look at this. So basically, let's um, first of all, let's add a new object, then a sprite, and uh, this is a behavior. So add a behavior, and this is the top down movements behavior. So let's add this, and right here at the bottom, we can see the viewpoint. So this is an addition to the top down movement behavior you get this viewpoint to select from the isometry you get um the true isometry and the custom isometry and also at the top right here you get this custom isometry angle which you can select your angles or about that 
and let's go back okay so which you can select your custom isometric angle which is really nice and when making an isometric game Now, for the last new feature of this version of Jitvolp, we have ex um, add actions, conditions, and expressions for the shape painter. So, we have the expression to get the color of the outline or filling, new expressions to get the opacity of the outline of, um, of the shape painter objects, and conditions or actions to ch check or change the usage of relative coordinates so let's take a look at all this and first of all let's add a new object which would be our shape painter there we go sorry about that okay so we have this let's apply this let's head into our events we need to get the expression so let's add a new event and add an action so doing this with a variable you go value of a scene variable sign i can set anything i want well i'll just go to the value straight and for this we need to select our shape painter which was new, which is new object one and we should get some of these as you can see there's a few color blue this should get it and also they should get the few color green and the few color red so this is the few opacity which would get the few opacity of our, the shape painter object and yeah, if there is the outline size, you can use this to set the outline size of it. To, sorry, to get the outline size. So that's it with this new expressions. You can get the opacity and the size. There we go. The outline size of the shape painter object you're working with. So next up, uh, we have something relative coordinate. So this is an action and a condition. The action sets it to the condition checks for it okay so let's take a look at this let's add an action this should be relative there we go so use the relative coordinates so as you can see this works for the shape painter object and this would ask you to use the relative coordinates and in our conditions we have new object and relative sorry about that i'm searching the wrong place relative coordinates and this would basically check if the coordinates of the shape painter is relative. Okay, so that's it. Okay, so the first of the improvements we have improved the search bar when adding an action and conditions the search to search in all the existing actions and conditions. So basically so this is an improvement which we all would find uh, very useful and why you may ask because okay we'll just add new objects and add a sprite okay yeah we can add a sprite oh, better go with the text object okay so apply this and we have this in our scene it should display text okay so we have that in our scene into our new scene events add an action so we have this search now for this version of Jitvalp, when you want to modify a text, like let's say this, this is, and keep in mind, this is new action and events editor. So when you click on our new text, you get this size. So you can say like, these are all the actions which are possible for a new object too. So the improvement here is that once in our search, once you search for size, it also displays this, the size object. So you can select your size and also select your object. Before this version, this was not possible because you would have to search size. You would, you would not get any results. You have to search, click on new object, select size, and then this. So basically, I feel this is kind of the combination of the new events editor and the old. Because the old gave us features like this. You select your size and you select the object you want to. And sign set to value and you select your value, which is a really great feature. So the days of getting confused while searching for while using the search here are finally over and yes this is a really great improvement okay so the next improvement is that the add mob action has been changed okay so for the banners add a new event and add an action basically we can just search for banners and we get this configured banner you can basically place in all your 
banner configuration in here and use this to display your banner which is really nice and new conditions and actions available to check this and okay so cancel this and this should be in our conditions so other actions and there we go add more so banner had an error so basically this is it this are the new conditions to check if your banner in interstitials and video had an error while loading and if an error happens you can use this to actually pass an alternative action and to take place okay so that's it and next up we have a new action is available to enable or disable the test mode of all ads at once and that's something we can see right here sorry actions and add mob so basically this is it enable test mode so this would enable the test mode all at once for all of this and you can use you can place this sorry about that show banner sorry configure the banner so basically this id this so you can place this you can copy this and copy that and place in here and then once you have this okay that would configure the banner you still need to show the banner there will show banner and also yeah we need to enable the test mode which is the test mode right here for that to work so this is meant for the test mode this is not from my admob account and basically this is just used for the test mode okay so that's it and one more for this we said app id and now separated so you can find the app id in your project manager game settings and then properties so basically we can see that here admob you can see this is as for android and for ios now before now we had this combined as one but now you have to place one for your admob app id and one for your ios app id okay so that's it okay so the next improvement is to the yan editor in chitabal this is what we use to create dialogues in chitabal dialogue so load dialogue from three from the JSON and just create one okay so this is what it looks like and you can see the version right here and the new buttons right here you can set the folder at the top and basically we can see this this is now different from the last we now have this file right here and and a few more options like open a gist this has to do with github and save to gist this has to do with github and we also have the share file and settings so in our settings we can see um we can see a whole set of selections which we can make like the theme we have blueprints and dracula this looks really nice and we can see the uh, mac up this is mac up language this is um the play test and style and pc bo bubble and chat messages redraw delay and this has to be github you need to get a token from your github if you want to save it to your github as a gist and basically we have these options spell check complete words complete tags and all of these and on the tags also correct notes and invert colors there we go also we have the grid and basically that's it it looks really nice here we go so that's the new updates to the yarn editor and the next improvements has to do with the week now um, contains automatically generated reference pages for all features of to develop so this are basically automatically generated um, pages on the wiki we can see some reference pages here and also the, the page list and all the community extensions now display icons for and more details you can check out that out i'll leave a link in the description
add menu item to move up and down parameters of functions and behavior methods okay so let's take a look at this one and sorry about that in search develop add that's a project manager this has to do with the functions and behaviors so let's add a function there we go and first of all let's go with the function and i'll just add in an action like that and this are the parameters so let's add a new one and add a new one okay so there we go that's it and right here as you can see we have this um, options which is to move down you can now okay i'll place a name here so it's okay this would be number and this would be object so once you click on move down this will place it below the other one and this is basically what's new before this version we did not there was no option to move up and move down the parameters of okay so that's it the second to the last um, improvements would be the add added a preference to toggle the visibility of the menu bar in preview so by default the menu bar is now hidden in previews just like exported games okay so let's head back to develop and try this out and so basically once we preview this this is the menu which is this at the top and you can toggle this on in our preferences so let's do this let's close this so you can do this by going into your file and preferences and scroll to the bottom as you can see this is hide the menu bar in the preview window so this by default this is checked so just in case you want to work with the developer tools you can uncheck this and you'll get this menu at the top um, when you preview a game so close this and preview now since we have that check this will be visible the menu there we go so now it's hidden and which is great when you want to see the full screen and okay so for the last improvements we can see the update with me and doc to mention typescript now this is mentioning typescript because the whole gdjs has been converted into to typescript so that's why um the readme's and docs are being updated to display typescript okay so there we have it those are all the um, new features and the improvements and here we have the bug fixes and you can see a list of bugs which were fixed in this version of gdevolve this is really great and it's nice it's a wonderful version too and this is really nice love all the new th features the new improvements and everyone who contributed to this version of gdevolve okay so that's it for this video let me know what you think about this version in the comment section below and that's it see you guys in my next video thanks for watching